Okay, so this is in response to a post that was made the other day where a person was saying that the kale bronze switches um, were problematic because they would actuate, meaning that the switch would make contact with the leaf before the click sound was being made. Now, I don't see how that would be a problem, though, because um, if you had to place importance on one thing, would you rather place importance on the key press actually being sent through, or do you place importance on hearing the clicky sound? I'm pretty sure that you would place importance on the key press, which is what the whole purpose of keyboards are for. Um, the clicky sound is nice. It's you know an additional way to tell that you've actually pressed the key, but the importance still is on the actual key press being sent to the computer. Now, other than that, I was also wondering how hard he was actually pressing the uh, on the stem to make it actuate because he was saying like it was a problem because you know in case your fingers just glided over the keys just accidentally that it would cause actuation. So I just want to see actually how heavy or what force it would take to make it actuate before the clicky noise. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to be using nickels which are about five grams as we can see here. Let's see. Yep, so about five grams, right? Now, we're going to use this to see how many nickels we can stack onto the key before it actuates and then when it clicks. So let's put the key cap on. And by the way, this is also hooked up to a multimeter, so once a connection is made, meaning it's actuated, we will hear the sound because it's testing for continuity. Okay, so here we have four nickels, which should be 20 grams. Let me put that on. Okay, and that's no problem. Hasn't actuated yet. So, so far there's 20 grams already with no actuation. Now we're going to put four more on. So that's 40 grams total that's already being put onto this key. And, uh, I mean, the key cap is negligible, I suppose. Okay, so that's 40 grams on it so far. And this is going to be 45. And then 50. Fifty-five to actuate. It hasn't actually clicked down yet, but it takes fifty-five grams to get it to even actuate, meaning the switch is making making contact with the leaf. Now let's put this last one down. Oh, it went down. I just barely touched it, and it went down. So you can see that no matter what. See, I just barely touched it. I w wasn't even able to put on the uh, the last nickel that I was about to place down. So the between actuation to the clicky noise, the click mechanism actually going off is somewhere within the range of five grams because uh, I put down the, I wasn't even able to put down the next nickel. Um, well, and uh, another thing is that I did this before I took the video and it was around the same. I was actually able to put the last nickel down um, in other attempts and it would click down. So if you think about it, if it takes 55 grams to actuate, or even 50, you know, before we put down the uh, last nickel, if it takes 50 grams to actually make contact with the leaf inside the switch, that's probably past just um, accidentally, you know, being a sloppy typer and just kind of touching nearby keys. It's more than that. At 55 grams, at 50 grams even, that, I mean, that's heavier than some switches like reds. So it actually takes significant force. I don't think that some accidental, you know, swipes along the side of a key are going to cause any actuation. Um, so as we saw here, there really isn't a problem with the kale bronzes whatsoever. Uh, and if anything else, it's kind of nice that they actuate before the click. And when compared to other clicky switches, they actually act the same as well. There is always a little bit of contact with leaf 
just before the snapdown of the stem, the second part of the stem. So there you have it. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I do have all eight new kale switches in my store at flashcork.com. Now, uh, here up here, you have the speed switches. This is speed silver, speed, speed copper, bronze, and gold. Silver is just your basic linear. Copper is like a brown um, with a really high tactile bump. It's pretty much instant when you start pressing it down. Um, there's bronze, and as you guys, a lot of you guys may know, it uses a different mechanism to click. It uses a metal bar that gets pressed down on and flicked to make its clicky sound. And then you have the gold, which is a lot like an MX or Gateron blue switch. Um, now the box switches here, you have the box red, which is a tac uh, which is a linear switch. And then you have the box brown, which is a tactile but non-clicky switch. It also has its uh, tactile bump pretty high up at 1.8 millimeters. Now this is in comparison to the others, which are 1.1 millimeter. Um, and then if you look at the white here, it's a lot like the bronze, but it's in box form instead. Also with the click bar mechanism. And then the box black, which is a heavier compared to the red linear switch.